Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create anodized aluminum in Blender. I'm going to use the Cycles Render Mode of Blender, so if you're going to use this tutorial, make sure you use the Cycles Blender Mode as well. So first of all, let's take a look at the final result, so I can just give you an overview of what the result can be. I designed this headphone, I used this in the process to create some nice renders and I use Blender for this. So these are some results. Uh, as we can see, it's, it is pretty nice anodized aluminum and we create can create different colors. So uh, the, different, the different colors I will show you in this tutorial as well, it's quite easy. So um, I will show you how to do this. So first of all, I'm gonna open the actual scene. And uh, of course the scene may look different in your case, in your project. Uh, my scene has, of course, a model, a background uh, to create a nice gradient uh, in my final image and uh, some uh, light sources and, of course, the camera view. So let's go to the view and uh, switch to the render viewport and we will see that I did not add any material to the casing yet. So that is what we what I'm going to do in this tutorial. and. Um, I'm go switch back to the solid viewport because this is a little bit faster. I'm gonna select the casing. So add a new material and uh, I'm gonna call this anodized aluminum and change the surface to a glossy one. Then change the, the node editor and switch to the material tab Select the existing glossy node and with Shift D duplicate this one. Then um, deconnect this actual line between these two because we want to add another node. In this case, I would like to add a mixed shader and connect this shader with the actual surface. So this will be our final result. Then I'm gonna add another node, in this case a layer weight, and I'm gonna connect the facing with the actual vector. Then the uh, second node with the shader and the final one with the shader as well. Uh, then I'm gonna add a new node, and in this case a Fresnel node. I'm gonna connect the vector with the uh, layer weight and what I'm gonna do next is actually creating the color itself because we would like to change the color we will we will use a RGB curve okay so um, we are gonna add a Fresnel node again as well and just to connect these actual values with our final result on the right side we have to add uh, some notes some notes more as well. So with Shift A, I'm gonna add uh, at color a bright contrast, and with Shift D, I'm gonna duplicate this one. I would like to use two of them, and then with Shift A, I'm gonna add a, a mixed color RGB. So make sure it is not a mixed shader, and with Shift D, I'm gonna duplicate this one three times. And what we're gonna do. Then we all we have all nodes now, and we're gonna connect this, these ones, and then we will look what the result will be. So first of all, I'm gonna change the uh, right top one, the node to add, and the left top one to a multiply. Um, and what I can do then is connecting actual the nodes. So let's start at the left top side with the Fresnel node and I'm gonna connect this one with the uh, color one of the multiply. Furthermore, I'm gonna add the Fresnel node to this um, mixed color node and I'm gonna connect this to the vector. So make sure you connect it to the vector as well. And at the bottom, we will do the same. Um, then the color of the top multiply node, I will connect this to the color of the mix node and then I'm going to continue with the RGB itself. So 
So first of all, the color, I'm going to connect this one to the color 2 of the mixed node. I'm going to connect this to the color of both brightnesses. And then I'm going to connect the brightness to the color 1 of the mix node. And uh, at the bottom to the color 1. And of course, in this case, the brightness contrast. This color I'm going to connect to the color 2 of this bottom mix node. Then I'm going to connect the bottom mix node with the color 1 of the glossy shader and um, the mix the second mix node with the color one of the top shader and then the top one i'm going to connect to the roughness of both shaders so when i did this i'm almost done i can just make a first render and just to take a look at what it looks like so i'm going to change to the 3d view go to my viewport and then change to rendering viewport. So what we see now is a slight gray, yeah, gray anodized aluminum. So we would like to change this to another color and then just change the values to make sure it looks like the way we would look like. So first of all, I'm gonna split the screen on the left side to render viewport and on the right side, the node editor. First of all, I'm gonna go to a green one. So I'm gonna just see what it actually looks like in color. It's a bit more easy. And then I'm gonna change some values. So first of all, the top brightness, I want to make a minus 0.2. And what we will see, it becomes a much more, much more darker color. That is what we would look like. And uh, the second one is 0 0.2, 0 0.5, excuse me. Then the top one comes 0 0.2 and uh, the left freeze null, this one, we're going to change to 2. Then the top add node can become 0 0.1, so it becomes a little bit darker again. And uh, I think that is actually it. This looks pretty could actually so yeah let's uh, add this to the other parts as well so just for a short overview the freeze on the left 2 uh, the multiply on 0 0.2 the brightness the first one on minus 0 0.2 the second brightness on 0 0.5 and the um, the top freeze note we can just leave the default value and uh, this add note on 0 0.1 so that's it. So let's go back and I'm going to go to the solid mode and just add it to the other parts as well. So add a new material, in this case use the anodized aluminum and the inside as well. Anodized aluminum oh. and on the left side select this casing and then anodized aluminum and the inside. Oh. Um, anodized aluminum okay so then this part as well anodized aluminum and that's it let's see if I have the inside yes I have okay um, then let's take a look at what this looks like let's make an actual render with F12 it's a bit more easy Make sure you don't have the uh, sample settings too high because it takes quite a lot of time. So reduce these ones to 20 or something. Depends on your uh, computer how fast it will be. And yeah, what we see, this is the actual shader we created. Okay, so the final part, what I mentioned in the beginning is I'm going to change the colors as well because we would like to make maybe a red one or whatever. So... I go to the note editor again here and on the left side of course with our RGB we can create new colors now so if we want to make a red one we can see it on the left side it changed to red one so maybe another color let's see what we have here um, maybe a blue one that's nice or the gray one after that 
So the blue one is just switching to blue, maybe a little bit more lighter blue. So it is really easy, as you can see. You can create all kind of colors, what you want. If you want to cr create a gray one, just go in the middle and maybe move a little bit more uh, brighter or darker colors. So that is it. It is creating anodized aluminum in Blender. Hopefully it is useful for your product projects as well. And yeah, thank you for watching the tutorial and see you the next time.